Hello, and welcome to The Listening Room, a spirituality podcast brought to you by SpiritSourceConnect.com. My name is Suzanne Goulet, and in each episode, I'll be speaking to you about new spirituality and how you can use it to improve your daily life. By offering you insights, tools, and techniques, you'll become more aware of your connection to a higher power and begin to accelerate your path to a life of greater joy, ease, and flow. For this week's episode, I'm offering up a new kind of material. One of my daily practices is journaling, and I've been keeping that practice since I was a child. Within that writing, I often receive words and insights from what I will call the other side. I have always found that the information is loving and kind and so insightful that I use it in my daily life. So today, and perhaps for more episodes in the future, I'll be sharing some of that material as it's my understanding that it should be shared. If you find any of this of value to you, please feel free to let me know. Enjoy. The whole point of our lives is that we are regaining our strength. And as we come into our learnings, one by one by one, we bring people along with us. We are healing the world. For them on the other side, They see it here as all a bit too much. The war, the damage to the beautiful earth, the shenanigans in the power structures that keep the general populace down. They see us as living hell, actually. Then they see us and all that we are doing to try to make a better place, to heal ourselves, to give to others to try to make the world a better place to live for the future, and they are in total awe and admiration for us, which is why they want to help so much. And then I heard from them. We do. We do want to help so much. So many hear and feel our admiration and don't really understand the full truth of it, or wonder if they are simply being pandered to, and the answer is not. You are correct in seeing and understanding that many of us on this side have not wanted to go back or venture into the world again, as many of us have been there, and like yourselves, chose very strongly that we did not want to go back, but instead, wanted a choice of staying here on this side and help in these ways. Encouragement, love, and support. The answering of questions, and in due time, also the miracles and situations needed when one wants to serve more and is ready to leave behind lessons of learning in order to expand the learning of others. Your lessons for learning do not only benefit yourselves privately as you are assuming. For every tiny step you take, there are others who are benefiting. Think of it as a pool of water. In that water is damaged soil, leftover packaging of food, mold, spiderwebs, and chlorine. For those of you who are in the pool, It is quite terrible, isn't it? It's gross, as you say. It's ugly, and you want more. You can see the benefits of having a clean pool. You know and would like to have all of that. You see others in the pool. Children, let's say, who don't know any better, and they're in the pool too. And the slime and the muck of mold and webs is clinging to them. And unknowingly, they are making do the best that they can. Now, you as the older being, the one who knows better, wants to clean up. For the sake of the younger ones or the ones that do not know. You also have memory of what a clean and beautiful pool would be. 
In fact, your memory is of being in waterfalls, clean and pure, surrounded by sparkling sunlight, filtering in through the tree branches and leaves. There are herbs and flowers surrounding the clean pool, and occasionally you think you might even see a fairy or two welcoming you to their magical area. You see dragonflies flitter and fly, landing nearby just long enough for you to notice the shimmering of their wings, iridescent and reflective of all the colors in the spectrum. You can only marvel at your surroundings and this experience, at the wonder of God and the universe that has been created. You are in heaven. You remember this. Now you are here. The smaller, younger ones do not know what is available to them. All they can see and hear is what is around them now. They are fragile inside. They are afraid, but do not show it. Afraid, lonely, scared for their survival, and rightly so. They dare not show it, for if any perceived weakness or vulnerability is shown, they may just be drowned by another. This is why healers are so important. You are saving lives for the young ones who hide everything. Be not alone. Be not afraid. We are here with you to support you and love you all along your journey. So as you are in that pool, one by one, you pick out the dirt, the rubble, the contagion, and transmute, disempower, or throw it out of the pool, and then do your clearing energy work. You are cleaning and clearing for all of them. Each step you take in your own spiritual journey helps others. You may not see it, but it is the truth. You are all in the same pool together. Little by little, you are clearing out the toxins, the rubble, and the debris. And as you do so, others who are ready, who remember what it is in their hearts, that desire to come here and help, or to be of help, may be noticing you for a while. They are also noticing that, although you are seldom focused on outside appearances, you suddenly look quite well, feel well, know things, and are continually learning. They like this idea, and in fact, get inspired themselves. So keep going, keep up with your learning. Every new revelation, understanding, moment of patience, forgiveness, kindness, and love in your heart that is built, both for yourself and for others, adds to the cleanliness of the pool. Toxins, those unseen forces, become transmuted and eliminated. And the really big items, those that can be seen, are taken out of the pool through obvious and outright forgiveness. Big, big chunks of junk are removed from the energy systems that are your pool. We love you and oh so dearly. Please let us know how else we can help and support. Also know that we cannot, nor would we consider, ever taking your lessons away, for those are the means with which you have chosen to clean out the pool with God. To take your lessons away would be effectively neutralizing your ability to have an effect in liberating the world from its chains. Love your lessons. Do them well. Know you are loved and that all is well. Amen. 
This is Suzanne, and I want to thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this program and would like to receive a free gift, please visit spiritsourceconnect.com. Thank you.